focus, focus. It's time to do my comic. Morning, everybody. I am so tired today. You'll be hearing that a lot. Oh my gosh. Guys, why are you doing this? Why? Get a good angle here. I thought today that I have so many projects going on, so I'm trying to kind of catch up with stuff and it's not working because I'm just like, oh, I've got to do that. I'll do it at some point. I've got so many projects going on so I'm thinking I'll just um, try and organize my life today a little bit just not my hair just my life not the hair yes yeah, so I drink out of the same coffee bunk every day because my friends got me this from uni all together like years ago so I love it this is my friend Sean she makes cute comics too and this is her cat Sush, um, short for sushi and I have a mug of hers as well which I, I use as well. This is my super messy desk. It's one of those things, can you focus camera? It's one of those things where you're like, yeah it looks fine and then actually on film I'm like, oh what is this? What is this? Just receipts, brilliant money, hairbrush. Having a dark day over here, look at this mess. Ugh. I apologize. That's my iPad. Put to good use from watching stuff, listening to things. I swear I'm using it for drawing now. It's quite bad, isn't it, actually, not using it for drawing for so long. I think I was just really put off and more into like traditional stuff. I was get heavily going down that road, but I guess it looks a bit bad for people who don't have one and they're like, how has she got one and not using it to draw? Like, what's your problem? Don't worry, guys. I tell myself that every single day. What's my problem? Okay, I already recorded this and then I had to record it again because the cats were fighting. Classic. I decided to go with my advice and draw more digitally on the iPad and use it more. This is actually a Chris's drawing that I'm colouring in, so I was just kind of warming up to it a little bit. This uh, is my lines, but um, his drawing is underneath it in a layer that is invisible. And if you want to see more of Chris's stuff, please go check him out on Instagram. I'll link it down below. And his stuff is amazing, honestly. He's such an artist that I look up to, and he's probably going to be cringing listening to me say that, but it's true. And then I drew another picture which is all my own work and I really liked how it came out. I found this sort of chalky brush that I'm using here and I used it sort of to sketch out lines and then I went over it again on another layer with a darker colour but the same sort of chalky brush and then I coloured it in with just a plain kind of painterly brush so you wouldn't have that kind of texture and yeah this is sort of inspired by Sailor Moon and those um, kind of 80s Japanese cartoons. I think that a lot of my work is inspired by that and I gave her like a third eye and she sort of looks similar to the drawing that I did in my previous video except minus two arms so I was like maybe it's the same girl I don't know and she just can like get rid of her extra arms or whatnot she has lots of powers and she's here playing the original Game Boy um, shout out if you ever had one of these bad boys my brother used to have one and then it got stolen when they went in France like from the car he's older than me but I remember hearing the story and being like horrified because you know back in the day when you had nothing and you're on a long road trip and someone steals your Game Boy mm -mm, that's a horrible story and then I was sort of like colouring the lines to make it a little bit softer in some places and harder in others so that was quite fun and the Final drawings are on my Instagram, which is down below.
This ultimate Scrabble scumbag. A bug. <laughs> scumbag added an S got 27 points. Scumbag, this is you. Oh, that's or, right. Or Scrabble genius. No, scummer. <laughs>